Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I thought today would, would take the perfect opportunity to talk about this guy right here, Brewster. So Brewster is one of the most requested characters when it comes around to update predictions and people telling us what we want in the updates. And I thought it'd be quite a fun opportunity today to have a bit of a chat about him, look, look at where he first started. And, you know, there's a chance that we could see him in this update that's coming in the next couple of days. So, yeah, let's, have, let's take the time out to kind of explore where he first came from. So, Brewster is a pigeon and he is known for running the roost, which is basically a coffee shop. And it's super cosy, it's super fun. So, he first made an appearance in Animal Crossing's Wild World, which was for the Nintendo DS. And in both Wild World and the City Folk... Um, the the roost was in the basement of the museum, so you'd go down there and you could get a coffee. That would be also where KK Slider played on a Saturday evening. So yeah, all that good stuff. You can get a cup of coffee off him for 200 bells, you get one per day. And he's had various kind of extra things as we've gone through the history. So Wild World is quite like a basic function if you asked for enough coffees you could get like um you it eventually ask you for like, some pigeon milk which looking back i'm not really sure how how uh legit that is but anyway uh city folk if you had multiple coffees he would also ask if you wanted help storing your gyroids now gyroids are synonymous with brewster they always kind of compare hand in hand with each other and you dig them up in the same way that you dig fossils and they're like all got different like shapes and sizes and they're pretty cool like collectible item and they make these crazy noises as well so yeah it's it's again it adds a little bit of a fun game mechanic moving into new leaf and the roost actually became its own separate building so it was a public work project and it was its own separate building now again very very similar you can get the coffees and things like that but once you got enough once you'd bought enough coffees and kind of befriended brewster you would be able to have a part-time job. And your part-time job was serving other villagers and special characters with their coffees. And once you got, you kind of had to remember their orders. Like each villager has a specific coffee order and you had to remember it and serve it when they came and asked for you. So it's a really cool game mechanic. It's a really, it was a really fun like little mini task to do on a daily basis. And as a reward for that, he would give you items, either coffee beans or the cafe furniture set. Which again is always good. We like furniture sets. We like the items. So it's always good to see things like that. Now. Obviously as it stands. In New Horizon we have not got Brewster. When the game first came out. Um, and the day, there were some data mines that were done. And there were hints that he could be coming back. And he could be coming back to join the basement. But since then we have not kind of heard anything else. My kind of thoughts on Brewster is if we do not get him in this update that's coming up, we're not going to see him until kind of like the back end of next uh, of this year. So kind of moving into the fall. If we don't see him, if we don't see him now, I just don't see him coming over the summer. His his character is all about that cozy vibe, coffees, things like that, and it just would make so much more sense to have him now while it's snowing and there's not really a lot to do, rather than kind of pushing him into the summer months, things like that. Now, another reason why I think we could be getting him in uh, this latest update is Brewster, on Valentine's Day, instead of ordering a coffee, you can get a cup of hot chocolate, and he would often say, like, Happy Valentine's Day, and it would just be like a kind of a little bit of an extra event. Now, I think it would be quite cool if we got him soon, because then, again, we're encompassing that Valentine's Day vibe, and we're just starting to acknowledge it in the game as well. But who knows? So that's a little bit of a history on Brewster and kind of gyroids. I'd love to know, guys, what do you think about Brewster? Have you played previous Animal Crossing games? Did you like him? Or are you not that bothered about him? How would you like to see him introduced to New Horizons? I would personally like to see him have his own coffee shop. And I'd like to see like old villagers and stuff like that coming back and using the roosters as a way to kind of revisit your island. I think that'd be a really cool little touch. And of course, have some sort of part-time job aspect, add that extra game mechanic so that we can really start to add to what we need to do on our islands and to kind of bring people back who have got burnt out from the game. But yeah, let me know, guys. I'd love to know your opinions as always. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.